When you think about a flag, what comes to mind is probably rectangular in shape. And why wouldn't it? They all seem to have that shape. That is all but one, Nepal. This is the only flag in the world that's not a rectangle. Its unique shape, that outline, the moon, and the sun can all be constructed using only geometric relationships. It's a perfect exercise to practice and master the skills needed to earn your CSWP. And here, we're gonna introduce many small enhancements to your technique that will add up to big time savings. Modeling quicker is desired in our workplace, but it's required for the CSWP. Before any modeling, first set up the global variables through the equations manager. When taking the CSWP, you'll also set up your variables first. With global variables, designs can instantly change with intent. After adjusting variables in the equations manager, the updated model is only a rebuild away. We'll illustrate this later when the flag's finished to really showcase the power of variables. Now, we're set up to begin modeling. But we don't want to just create the flag. We want to do it as quickly as possible. So press the L key to instantly access the line tool. Here the flag is sketched one line at a time. Click and drag the mouse to add one line, releasing when it's sketched. So you can move on with your designs instead of worrying about having to hit the escape key and leave a command. These lines should be perpendicular. A sketch relation will take care of that. This can be done quicker than ever by using the shared vertex enhancement of 2015. Picking this point instead of the two lines adds the exact same relationship in a fraction of the time. It's the quickest way to keep moving through the CSWP exam. Skipping ahead a bit in the design process brings us to a huge time-saving enhancement from 2016, the ability to directly pick the midpoint of lines. This straightforward, direct access to midpoints makes sketching quicker and easier than ever. Now you can focus more on your designs instead of figuring out how to select and use midpoints. These next few steps are made simple by taking full advantage of power trim. It's the SolidWorks Weed Whacker, Anything it crosses gets cut away. If you accidentally delete something, trace back along the same path, crossing the red box to undo the trim. And power trim can also power extend. Instead of dragging across an entity to trim, drag along it to extend so you can get the job done faster. The home stretch, and it's here more than anywhere where speed matters, a perfect time to leverage patterning techniques. Use dynamic mirror. It's similar to the sketch mirror, just quicker and easier to use. Establish a line as your mirror and whatever is created on one side is automatically mirrored to the other while it's active. So you don't have to waste time reselecting entities. With the flag finished, let's change the variable. Wow, notice how adjusting that didn't hurt the downstream design at all? The ability to leverage variables like that is required to pass the CSWP. The CSWP exam requires more than just knowing a few specific skills. It demands speed and efficiency, built from the right techniques and a knowledge of the latest enhancements. Here, we saw just a few techniques and enhancements, but click the link below for the full unabridged version of this exercise full of countless tips and tricks. And also, explore all the ways you can connect with us and see where we can help you model quicker so you can get your designs out the door faster and that CSWP certification in your hands sooner.